What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Feeding Faith, a cooking show designed to talk and teach about the physical and spiritual benefits of prayer and fasting. I'm your host, John Hinton, and on today's episode, I'm here with my friends, Jonah and Grace. Hi! Hello. You guys excited? <laughs> of Absolutely. course. I'm super excited we to have food. you guys. Oh, yeah. How could you not love food? Well, what are you going to be making for us today? So we've got something called turkey teriyaki, but it can be substituted with ground chicken or tofu. So I guess turkey whatever. Teriyaki. Ter <laughs> or teriyaki, teriyaki, teriyaki whatever. whatever. Turkey teriyaki whatever. Chicken teriyaki. Rice. Yeah. Tofu Some kind of It's sub. a mix. It's it great. It sounds delicious though, but what are we going to have in ours today? And tell me the process of putting everything together. Yeah, of course. So starting, you're going to have your either white rice or jasmine rice. I prefer jasmine rice, just a flavor thing. I don't know if you all can tell. I'm the but same way. Yeah. Um, so we've got rice as the base, um, and then for our meat, you, like I said, you can substitute. We've got ground turkey. Um, you can use ground chicken or tofu for those who are not doing meat. Um, I wouldn't suggest putting any other chunks. Just find ground things and yes. put it in. <laughs> yeah. And Jenna, what do we have for okay. vegetables? And we have three different veggies in our meal. So we start out with some little sliced carrots. You can buy the prepackaged ones, pre by the way. It saves time. Yes. Nobody needs to be slicing Suggest. their own carrots. You don't need to. I mean, if you um, are, I'll pray for you. I'm happy for you. These both uh, usually need to be sliced. You could buy uh, broccoli that already is sliced, either way. They're um, hard to find, though. Hard to yes, find. That. So probably slice it yourself, then put it in the microwave for three minutes to pre cook it um, and defrost them. Then we have our peppers here. And these. Pretty much just a mix of slices. Mix of about that right there. Then we have vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. So it's plant based. It's not the best it tasting. The best. But actually, it's actually, so if you go to Walmart, they have just come out with new plant based <gasps> cheese. Mind you, we both really cannot have dairy, and so I live yeah. off vegan cheese because I love cheese, and I really don't taste much of a difference. The only thing is texture. So some of my friends who have issues with texture, yep. it might be weird to get used to at first, so I wouldn't just say sprinkle it on something and eat it like normal cheese. Cook it in. And that's what we do with this, and it makes a great flavor. Oh, so they Walmart have, section. They have mozzarella. And shredded, and shredded uh, um, cheddar. cheddar. But Parmesan they do not have. So, no offense, don't go to Kroger. We'll be waiting for that. <laughs> don't go to Kroger. <laughs> if you want cheese uh, during this fast, they have better options. What do we got for sauces back there? So this is the, how do you, I want you to say that. Okay, Kikoman uh, less, less sodium, sodium soy sauce. So this is fast approved. Mm -hmm. Some of you who may not be wanting to do, or who are doing very extreme fasting, I understand you might not want to use this type of soy sauce. That is okay. Um, this is probably the best you're going to get, though, when it comes to flavor and fast approved. So if you can find anything else out there, let us know. But this Please. is the one that we found that is honestly so far if the best. If you find anything, and drop it down there in the comments for us. Make sure you know. find less sodium, though, because... It's usually the greener. And you really greener. don't taste a difference. Um, and then, so this disclaimer is teriyaki sauce that you will not be using on the fast, but I didn't have the other one on hand. If you get it at Walmart, John will post a picture of it. Um, it, ha it has like no sugar in it and a couple other things. And honestly, you really don't taste the difference either. I use that one usually every day, but Mama Jenny had to go to the store. Awesome. So. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and throw all this stuff together, guys. Yeah. Um, normally, how I cook my rice, for those who might get a bag and they're not sure, because, I mean, going to college, I really didn't know how to cook rice very well. Um, I would burn it. Rice. Um, <laughs> but actually... Laureen, Abigail's mother-in-law, gave me a recipe that works. Now, you can't have the butter in this, so I'll give it to you with the butter for after the fast and without the butter for the fast. But for every one cup of rice, you put one and one-half cups of water in it and then a tablespoon of butter for each cup of rice. But just leave the butter out for the fast. You put it on the stove with the lid off, boil it. When it comes to a boil, turn it to low and then put the lid on cracked for 17 minutes and you have the perfect rice. It tastes so good and fluffy. So or use a rice cooker. Or use a rice cooker. That's true, rice cooker is kind of like my go-to. That's the college it's a, way is a rice cooker. So, so this is your base. You're not going to mix it in until you're ready to dish out. But what you do is you um, brown up your meat, yep. um, whatever it is, and we just kind of pour it on in. Um, and usually you're going to saute this. So um, and oh, I, 
Good thing I Wonderful cleaned Wonderful mistake. That. You know, it's fine. It's good, y'all. We're this happens perfect. in the kitchen. We're not perfect. We're progressing. That's why we have a savior. Okay. Yes, thank you, um, Jesus. We add on in our veggies. And the wonderful thing about this, guys, is you're getting three veggies in one meal, which is sometimes hard to do in just one meal to get one veggie in. So we love all the colors. Look at those colors right there. We like oh colorful food. God. Jesus loves all the colors. We do too. So that's how this is. So why don't you say we go cook it and come back? Yeah, we'll be right back. All right. Well, while Grace is cooking, uh, Jonah told me he had a, uh, a joke for me. Yeah. My friend was fasting all day for Yom Kippur yesterday. I don't know how to answer this. You don't know how to answer this? No. Well, I'm sure it'll pass over. Mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, Jonah, I got a joke for you. The comeback. The comeback. Yeah, comeback. Comeback. Well, my brother's been fasting for over nine days now. Mm -hmm. Says he wants to get closer to God. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. I told him if he keeps this up, he might actually meet him soon. Oh. 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 Yeah. All right, enough with the bad jokes. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if uh, Grace is done cooking. Come on over here, Come sister. Over. What do we got? We've got our glorious <gasps> masterpiece. Look at how colorful that this is. That looks delicious. It oh my gosh. It's even Amazing. better than it looks, mind you. Well, let's taste so, it. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Everybody mm -hmm. dig in there. Ooh. Yum. Here comes the taste test. Get the veggies. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is amazing. A little mm -hmm. messy. So. I would, say, I would say use a bowl, a lot better. Um, if you want, you could put more sauce on it. Yeah, but it was very delicious. Mm. I actually, this is one of those things that I really enjoy during our fast because you really think as you're taking away um, from your normal appetite, your normal diets, that you feel like you're losing. But it's, it's actually when we start praying, when we start fasting, when we start eating regularly the, the foods that are actually good for us, we start feeling more healthy, and, yeah. and it actually gives us more energy to do things like pray and read our Bible more. And this is definitely one of those meals that tastes really healthy, and I feel it'll actually give my body what it needs during this fast. Definitely. Yeah. Um, about actually a year ago this month, I started a journey. I found out that I had diverticulosis and oh, that I had a lot of health issues. And so my diet had to change. Even healthy foods like corn, I couldn't even have. So I really had to get creative. And I love food. Um, God healed me from an eating disorder a while ago, and I found a love of food, but I wanted to love food the right way, right. the way that it was going to help my body. And so I went through a journey, and I find that one of my struggles coming up with the fast is finding how to give less but more to God in the food aspect because this is how I eat on a normal basis. This is how we both eat. Yeah. So it is actually a challenge for us to find out um, how can I incorporate less while still keeping my body going yeah. when this is my normal. And some of you might find that who have health issues and maybe you're already living a way that the fast says so, but there's so many other ways. Like I don't need that cookie once a week. You right. know, I don't, I don't need, need that little piece of butter in the rice. No, like. you don't need the <laughs> butter. Does it add flavor? Yes, but don't beat yourself up is what I'm trying to say for maybe actually living a lifestyle that's better, but not right. being able to make those drastic cutbacks like, oh, I gave up my coffee. Right. Well, I don't drink caffeine, you know, but I gave up my butter and I like butter, right. you know, like yeah. mm -hmm. it's the small things that as long as you are sacrificing and you know you're dying to flesh in a way that's not going to compromise your health, but giving your spirit and flesh to God, that's all that matters. Right. I feel yeah. like everybody's got that one thing or uh, that one vice when it comes to eating or yeah. coffee. Um, and I feel like when you go that extra mile for God, whether it's uh, during a, a corporate fast, like 21 days of prayer and fasting like our church does, or maybe you're on a personal fast of like a day fast or three days, I think it's very important when you go that extra mile and you're really just showing God that maybe I don't need this this one thing because you are the one thing that will fill whatever gap that I have. And when you really kind of take a step back and you see a big picture, yeah. God comes in and he fills that hole and he really just works in your life in the way that you truly need.
Well, guys, I really appreciate you guys coming on today and sharing this delicious recipe with us. Oh, yeah? Uh, please, uh, everybody who has watched this episode, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button uh, for more videos on prayer and fasting. And if you've enjoyed this uh, recipe and you intend on making your own, please show us uh, or tell us down there in the comments uh, the ways that you uh, kind of customized it for yourself. And uh, also uh, with the great testimonies that uh, my friends Jonah and Grace have shared today, please drop your testimony about something that, that happened very personally that God uh, came through for you or did in your life during your, your days of prayer and fasting. Well, thank you guys. Uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye.